Uh, greetings, my name is Noor Akmal and this is my group mates and we are from Chemical Engineering Unimas uh, In this video, we will make a demonstration on bioreactor Before we proceed with the demonstration, we will go through some introduction of our demonstration Okay, a bioreactor is a reactor that uses biological organisms such as yeast or bacteria uh, to yeah. carry out the reaction to convert raw materials into a higher value products. Okay, generally, this is one of the bioreactors that we use in a lab scale size. A uh, bioreactor may refer to any manufactured or engineered device that supports a biological active environment. Uh, okay, so. <coughs> Usually, the process occurred in this bioreactor is fermentation where the living organisms such as yeast will ferment the raw materials into the product that we want. So that is just the basic of bioreactor. So we will proceed to how to demonstrate the bioreactor itself. My name is Sire Bisnisen and I am the second member of this group for this demonstration. So before we start, I would like to emphasize that we must practice safety um, precaution before we start an experiment. So you must prepare your lab coat and your glove. So basically, the reaction that we, that we, we will demonstrate is of uh, the digestion of glucose by yeast and cell to produce like the acid so before we start with the bioreactor we must prepare the stoichiometric amount of um, raw material that will be needed so let's go weigh some raw materials hi my name is Mama Ashraf Minakub and I'm the third member of this group so I'm going to prepare the raw material that is needed for our experiment um, we need to prepare a amount of glucose which is um, which is 133 gram so first we are going to insert the empty beaker inside the weighing balance after that we need to reset the balance to zero We put the glucose to so 133 gram into the empty beaker. Carefully add the uh, glucose. After we weigh the glucose, this is the glucose that is being weighed. Next, we need to prepare the second material, which is the yeast. We need to prepare about 10 grams of yeast. So the procedure is almost the same as we weigh the glucose. So first, we need to prepare the into liquor. Then we need the yeast. So we put approximately 10 grams to the liquor. Yes. Okay, this is the material that has been weighed before so the next step is to mix them together with the glucose and the yeast so we just mix them
Okay, the next step is to stir it together. As you can see, it does not mix well, so we need to add distilled water to the mixture. My roommate will mix it together. Okay, after we stir for a while, uh, we can see that there is still precipitation of glucose and yeast. So, to ensure the mixture are fully soluble, so we will put the mixture into the microwave. And we will heat the mixture for 4 minutes at 40 degrees Celsius. Before we start to use this bioreactor, we need to clean it. As you can see, it's very dirty. So to clean it, we need to pour in distilled water to about 80% um, of the capacity of this bioreactor. So we put the filter panel and pour in water up to 80%. We need to clean it. Um, to clean it, we need to put antifoam. The next procedure for this demonstration, we'll be putting the result of the mixture of yeast and glucose in the oven. So now everything is homogenized. So to put it in, we need to put the filter panel and pour everything in the bioreactor. So the next step in this lab demonstration will be adding the cells into the bioreactor. We need to add cells until the reading of the OD is up to 0 0.1. So once the reading is at 0 0.1, you can stop adding the cells and close back the lid. After pouring everything in the bioreactor, Take out the lid again. And then return on the bioreactor. So after pouring the mixture into the bioreactor, we need to pour the distilled water to make sure that the content of the bioreactor is at 80%, which is in this case we need it to be at 2 liters.